Hi, here's a quick video about the big ideas from cluster two. So cluster two is building a conceptual understanding of addition and subtraction. The big standards that are hit within this is there is a big review of some kindergarten standards, which is OA3 and OA4, which is like their number partners and their decomposing of the 10. The first grade standards that are really big in this cluster are OA1, which is your word problem solving, OA3, which is communicative and associative properties, OA6, which is your adding and subtracting strategies within 20, OA7, which is understanding of the equal sign and what it means, and OA9, which is your fluency within addition and subtraction. The mathematical practices that are big in this cluster are practices one, two, four, seven, and eight. Our big ideas of this cluster are fluency within 10, the meaning of the operation, so what does the joined with sign and the takeaway sign or the plus and the minus mean, giving them exposure to equations, using concrete objects, um, introducing the change unknown, add to and take from word problems, and also giving them multiple efficient strategies and really hitting on the action language within all of those ideas. Some explore ideas are listed involving tasks where students are determining um, more or less than a number, um, tasks involving using multiple ways to make sense and see numbers in different ways, and word problems using multiple strategies. Some shared math ideas which would be work with students on total unknown word problems, which is a review of word problem types from kindergarten, decomposing 10 and decomposing five. Some strategies that students might use in this cluster are counting on, make a 10, decomposing a 10, using number lines, using doubles, plus or minus one, the associative property, commutative property, and understanding and recognizing the relationships of addition and subtraction. This next poster shows a strategy of how you might teach Make a 10 using the concrete manipulatives, and it also has some action language. So you might tell the students that you're gonna solve the problem of seven joined with nine. And so they would build the seven, and then they would build the nine. And your students might respond with, I moved three counters from nine to make a 10. And that would also hint or lead you into the, the associative property that they also have to learn within this cluster.